traditional OB for me would mean getting up at the crack of dawn, having to drive to the airport, sit on a plane for five hours, then waiting for a hire car, and then having to make my way through an unfamiliar city to an unfamiliar ground. The mindset when I'm doing a hub game is that all the worry is taken out of it. It's funny, I mean, you know, tonight we're live from 4,000 kilometres away. Perth is, you know, a significant distance away from where we are, and yet the only thing that's in Perth are the cameras. Right, we got everyone in Perth. Anyone, anywhere. Both Fox Sports and NEP have replaced the traditional outside broadcast method of workflow where commentators, all the camera operators, everything that you see out in the field is still there, but we've removed our production guys to produce out of the hub. It is unbelievable that I can be in one state, yet the OB is in a completely another state of Australia. The consumption model of broadcast is changing massively. People want everything, anywhere, all the time. In order to keep pace with that, it can't be siloed operations limited by who can be where and when they can do it. We're maxed out on all the freelancers in the industry. We're flying our best producers and best directors to Perth and Adelaide and Melbourne, effectively taking them out of action for a couple of days. And the distributed production hub model allows us to cover more sport at a better quality. That's the really important part of it. We're getting more work out of our best guys, and therefore the product will be better. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this TB broadcast in Perth. We're in the hub here at Redfern. It was really important to NEP to make sure that the user experience was exactly the same. Yes, um, to our director. Yes, James. The um, bus isn't coming in until 5:30. Okay, Dokes. Well, whenever they get here, they'll they'll do that. Uh, one thing we do. We do that using the video conferencing, and you'll see video conferencing cameras all around both facilities and all around the trucks. We put the camera operators on their cameras a little bit early, they look at the return, as if they would look at the return for their program or for something else that's happening. And we've got a key that we use called our meeting key. When we press that, the director camera is put basically on every screen in the IP truck so that everyone in any cabin can see him and be part of that meeting. Up until today, it's been 1,600 kilometres that the hub has been working on, but today it is 4,452, so it's a world first, so congratulations for being part of it. Thank you very much. Someone's clapping, Murray's clapping. Clap yourselves, give yourselves a round of applause. Ready, 300 mix. Bravo, roll, bravo, transition. Two, find me number five for Central Coast, please. It's a fully redundant, fully resilient, a fully monitored network. By not using any compression, we have the lowest latency, we have the best picture quality. You're looking at our product now, and it is. It's, I actually think it's visually better because we're uncompressed to the Sydney hub. These faders on the screen are a representation of the faders on the truck in Perth. As Alex moves the faders here, that's what's happening in Perth. Operationally, it's very much the same as what we're doing, but underneath the hood, it's you know, a lot more, that blows my mind, how, how complicated that is, and, and it works so well. Anyone anywhere, it basically says it's actually totally achievable to have people split across the network and put them anywhere. You can have a truck in one city, you can put production teams in whereby two people can be in city A, three people can be in city B, and three people can be sitting at one of the two hubs and they can all work together. Camera one's clear, thank you, good night, well done. Seven, we will be using you for a news cross. This is the future of TV production. There's absolutely no reason why any broadcast can't be covered like this from now on. It's easy for everyone, the broadcast isn't compromised, and it is a lot more efficient. We want to really improve the production quality. We want to make it better. So we now have more consistent crew. We have consistent crew because we don't travel people as much. People are less tired. People are more familiar with the environment they're in. And if you look at that alone, sure, it's great to have the cost savings and it's great to have the benefits that come with that, but it's fantastic to have a more efficient environment with crew that are familiar that do the same projects over and over again.